Okay, I want to go over with these principles with you. There's six of them, and if you follow these correctly, you're going to be able to uh, immediately get another two, even six inches on your vertical by having correct form and allowing your body to do what it's capable of doing. Okay, I want to talk about a few principles here. Um, they're going to allow you to go outside right now or go into a gym right now and put these into effect and actually get a higher vertical immediately. And I know you're thinking that's pie in the sky, that's crazy, but really they're just scientific principles. So I want you to look at this first image and notice that in the red we have the quads, in the green we have the hamstrings. And they have an inverse relationship. So the first thing that you want to do is prime your muscles so that you can jump higher. Now before you just log off and say I'm just talking about stretching and flexibility, there's more to this story. Uh, first of all, understand that in as much as your hamstrings are going to be warmed up, that's the one in the green, then your quadriceps in the red are going to be able to contract at full potential without the resistance of a stiff hamstring. So the more you're able to get that muscle flexible and access the elastic quality of the muscle, you're going to be able to get more spring and more full contraction out of your muscle. So when you're warming up, you need to stretch completely the inverse of every muscle involved in the jump. You need to stretch the quad, you need to stretch the hamstring, the calves, um, the anterior tibialis. You need to do stretch a full body so that all of your muscles are full to contract at their fullest capacity. So basically what's going to happen is when your muscles are warm, they're going to have more elasticity, you're going to be able to stretch them more, and you're going to have increased blood flow and energy supply to your muscles. So before you start anything, before you start wanting to reach your, your top explosion potential, during that jumping session, make sure that you've done that correctly. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is eliminate any mental blocks that you might have. So there is a connection between your mind and what your body does and you want to eliminate that by picturing your goal as clearly in your mind as possible so that you don't inhibit in any way what your mechanics are going to do. Okay, watch this clip of Spud Webb and watch how he gets into his jump. Okay, notice here how Spud Webb's last, last step before he explodes is exaggerated and about twice or three times as long as his normal step. Why does he do that? Because that additional length lowers his entire body. And when his entire body is lowered, it's ready um, for all the muscles to contract and send him upward. Uh, if you're training for any event in track and field, whether it's long jump or high jump, they're going to teach you to exaggerate your final step so it lowers your entire body weight and gets you ready to explode. If you're standing straight up in the air, the least you can do is, is maybe flex your quads a little bit, flex your calves, and just do a little bit with your, your lower back, but you're not going to be able to get near the explosion as when you're already poised and in place. Now notice at this point right before full explosion where his arm's at, where's the ball at? It's nearly in between his legs because if his hands were already up near his chest he can't explode using his upper body. So his whole body, including his legs, arms, and upper body, is ready to explode upward. You want to exaggerate this as much as you can, even pointing your toes towards your knees so that your, um, your legs are ready to fully explode and that your joints and muscles are taking advantage of all the elasticity that they have. Okay. At this point you see Spud Webb where everything is exploding upwards, his hands have gone up, his legs are extending, and he's sending everything he has skyward. If you want to improve immediately your jumping quality, when you get in the gym, make sure you're warm, your muscles are elastic, uh, make sure that you're stretching them and all the, uh, the inverse muscles, so if you're on your quads, you need to make sure and stretch your hams and vice versa. And once that's done, eliminate any mental blocks, exaggerate your last step and poise your body for explosion, and you want to get your arms and your lower back and everything into the jump point your toes towards your knees so that you can take advantage of a full range of motion. Okay, the last thing you want to make sure and do is transfer any forward momentum directly upward. Because you'll notice in the second slide what's happening is the upward momentum is being completely stopped 
and then you're using your strength to push you forward. So if you have a lot of forward momentum developed, you want to see if you can transfer that successfully upward instead of stopping it and having to kind of recharge your momentum. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that helped you understand the six steps. They're going to help you immediately gain inches on your vertical by having the right form and the proper preparation. Number one, just get warm, increase the elasticity of the muscles and joints, and increase the blood flow to your muscles so you have the energy you need. Two is to stretch and further increase the elasticity of the muscles and supporting structures because that warm and elastic opposing muscle group is going to allow you to fully contract each muscle. Then you want to eliminate any mental blocks so that your mind isn't interfering with the performance of your body. Okay, and this fourth step is to exaggerate um, the last step before you explode and that's going to lower your entire body and prepare you to explode fully. The fifth one is to use your whole body Prepare your arms and your lower back to be involved with the upward explosion. Point your toes towards your knees to get a full range of motion in your calves. And the last step is to successfully transfer your forward momentum. So allow the forward momentum to be pushed upward uh, in the right direction instead of killing it at the point of takeoff. Hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, you can go to my website at jumpmanual.com or freeverticaljumptraining.com. Thanks.